Okay, check, check, check. Let me get my camera angle right. This is my fourth time trying to make this particular video. So, the frustration is real. Frustration is definitely real. I need a good camera angle too, on top of everything. Let's see. <laughs> oh man. Bada bing, bada bip. Let me tighten that up. Alright, cool. It seems like it's a good go. Let's check and see if my camera's live as well, because I had a crash earlier. Let's check and see if my camera's live as well, because I had a crash earlier. Okay, that looks decent. Okay, I guess I'll start from scratch. Again, this is the fourth time trying to do this joint. So let me start all over again. <laughs> let me start all over again. <laughs> For all of those who uh, are just coming in. All right, so from the top, bro. Jesus Lord. <laughs> this is a lot, man. Um, Bada bing, bada bip. Let me say what's up in the chat room real quick. Just throw a yo in there. Yo. That's what it is. All right. What were we doing? Reason light. 10.1 is available. I got to up update. I haven't updated. Sorry. But you'll be okay. Um, Maybe I should do this a little differently. There's a reason why I've had to do this four times. Um. Follow the channel, like, comment, subscribe, share. Follow my Instagram, at Brella. Twitter, at Brella Music. All of that good stuff. Okay. Um, watch my other reason video, and uh, you'll see what's going on with this soon. This is a free application, a free app with your Akai PK Mini uh, when you log into your AkaiPro.com account. Set that account up if you haven't yet. It's a bunch of cool stuff in there. It's free, including Reason Light. All right, and NPC Essentials. Speaking of NPC Essentials, I'm going to load NPC Essentials inside of Reason Light. <laughs> I've done this so many times. It's like <laughs> crazy. All right, so in the search bar right here, I'm gonna type in NPC. Of course, I have Studio. So that's going to pop up too, but bada bing, bada bip. I'm going to drag and drop NPC Essentials into the little workspace over here. And it's going to create a track and a rack mount and a mixer channel for me. That's just how dope it is. So right here in this section, you'll see NPC as a rack mount pop up, just like in a real studio, home studio or wherever the heck you're at. It's a car studio. <laughs> Anyways, so um, about a bit, we got NPC Essentials as a rack mount here. And what I wanna do is open it up so I can see it the way that I normally see it. So I click on this button right below VST plugin. I click on open here, boom. NPC Essentials, you can load your other projects from this list. Just for you guys who will have 15,000 projects. All right. So um, my goal right now is to uh, take a couple samples and uh, take them and load them up into NPC Essentials. So um, I'm going to open up my folder here. Open up the smart folder finder, whatever you want to call it. And this works in Windows too. It's uh 
it's the same. It's 100% the same. Okay. So I got two samples here. One's a uh, drum pattern. The other, other one is a guitar pattern. So just like normal, I'll drag these onto the pads. Boom, boom, boom. Drag this one onto pad two. Make sure my mini is on program two. And also, let me close this out. Make sure that reason and my preferences and my uh, control surfaces that can be became mini is checked and you got the green check box. If not, you'll get that. And then that, you'll have to uncheck it and recheck it over again. Unplug your mini, replug it, whatever, if you have problems. All right, so I should be able to hit pad one and hear my drum pattern. There it is. So you can see this little VV meter jumping up and down, right? That's my audio routing from the from MPC Essentials as a plug-in going through this rack. It'll also be going through this mixer channel. So let me hit that drum pattern again. You can see here that uh, it's being routed from this channel into the master channel. Okay, so being as going through the master channel, I can also uh, click on uh, the analyzer and uh, turn on an EQ. I can EQ it. Uh, the shelving here, high pass filter, low pass filter. Um, you can see that the low end of this particular uh, drum pattern is really, really heavy on the bass side. So if I really wanted to, let me hit that again. I can get out some more bass. Have it sound stupid, distorted, like one of those um, XXX Tentacion beats. May he rest in peace. Moment of silence for XXX Tentacion. All right, so, um, Bada bing, bada bip. We have uh, our sample routed through. Just showed you guys how to put some light EQ on the joint. Uh, I'm ready to record. Those samples I know for sure are at 140 uh, BPM. Let me check my audio once again. I do not want to do this a fifth time, I promise. Audio is cool. All right, so um, 140 BPM, I'm gonna go down here to the uh, BPM. I could tap it in or just drag, click drag up to 140. I'll be recording, so I'm gonna turn the click on and my pre-roll is set to, it automatically defaults to four beats or four clicks. So you'll have four clicks and then you'll start recording. So these little dots on the side, I can navigate through my mixer, rack, and sequencer. So right now I need a sequencer. I'll give myself more sequencer real estate. Right, 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 right. And I'll make sure that uh, my indicators are at uh, one and nine because it's an eight bar loop, right? And I'll make sure that my loop is on. Now these are loops, so I only really need to record one note here. So first I'll record my drum loop. All right, I recorded my drum loop. Okay, and then I'll go back and I'll record my guitar loop, which I really don't have to record separately, but I just wanted to do that just to show that you can. I'm triggering that for myself four clicks. One, two, three, four clicks. I think I did something dumb right there. I'm gonna undo all of that. 
I'm gonna just re-record. <laughs> that was stupid. I'm gonna uh, record both at the same time. I'm gonna just hit both pads at the same time. One, two, three, four. That was a smarter thing to do. Okay, so that's an eight bar loop. When I hit play here, the loop is on. It's gonna automatically loop for me if I start from the beginning. Here we go. Turn the click off, that gets kind of annoying. Make sure that that loops. Okay, that loops. I'm gonna check my rack mount. I can see my audio going in here, all right? Now, if I really wanted to get technical, I could go inside of MPC Essentialism, inside of uh, the editing and all these things, and you know, tweak my volumes and add some plugins into these individual tracks. Uh, I could add some of my audio units. MPC essentials and just um, but uh, that's not what I want to do right now. Again, um, get some high end for this. I'm totally um, and then I'll close this. All right, go to my mixer, make sure my channel is good. All right, I'll go to the sequences section, and you can see that this will go to measure number nine, and it will loop back to one. Now, let's just say, uh, let's just say I'm not content with NPC Essentials. Let's just say I want to throw something like Hybrid on, which is dope, right? I'm going to search for Hybrid. Uh, no, the instrument hybrid, not the folder hybrid. H Y B R I D. Is it called spelling? Because I'm actually casting a spell. This is what somebody said. Spelling is called spelling because you're learning to speak life or death. It's pretty dope. Anyways, I'm going to drop this in. <laughs> track number two will automatically pop up. I think I could have made it track one as well, but. Hybrid is now a uh, channel, and it's also a rack piece here, right? Um, you have a couple different uh, options. Um, hybrid um, and reason recognize your uh, X, Y control, so I can... Uh, push my uh, controller mod wheel up and down or left and right and it'll recognize the pitch control. So I'm on instrument number one, but I'm gonna pop the hybrid open. And let's just say I want a bell sound effect. Gentle bell, clear bell. And that's kind of weak. That's weak for this too. Give me something. Oh, these bells are weak, bro. Any other time I'll be like, oh, these bells is, these bells are on point. Um, sample bell. That'll work. All right, so hybrid is on track number two. And I can then begin playing this in conjunction with uh, what I have already. So I'll go to the sequences section and then I will Press play. That's actually not bad.
So let's just say I want to record on the loop. And I'll just add something silly. Like this. Uh, Okay, I'll go to my rack now, where it says Temple Bell here. I'll bring it down some. And if I messed up any notes, right, I can double click on that MIDI section, and then I can open up the piano roll for hybrid. And I can zoom all the way out on that and take a look at my notes. Scroll over. There's a rogue note right there. Delete him, right? And uh, I don't have my, uh, actually I'm gonna leave that in there. I might've messed up. Uh, my, uh, grid is set to 1 16th so all of those notes uh should be they should snap to the grid um so i'm gonna solo that with it with the uh channel up top and just listen to the bell really quick sounds good go to the rack mount Throw a low pass on it. Oh, that's that's actually that has nice shelf on it, and it, it sounds compressed. That's nice. What about the high pass? It's pretty nice. I might actually keep that. Uh, keep in mind the more EQing and the more uh, AU uh, things that you drop into your DAW, because that's what Reason Light is. Reason 10 Light is, it's a DAW. Um, the more of these VSTs and things that you drop into uh, your mix, that's the more processing power that you're putting on your laptop. And so if you don't have enough processing power on your laptop, I wouldn't suggest trying to uh, do a thousand things. Um, you definitely want to make sure that um, you have uh, enough uh, editing power before you start um, messing around with your processor speed because you can't crash your computer. Um, or just slow it down significantly. And, you know, that's one of those things that, you know, <laughs> everybody hates. Nobody likes a slow computer. So, NPC Essentials as a VST, also loaded, hybrid. I really like the way that Reason labels your um, tracks for you with the instrument that you have. It's dealing with exporting sometimes. It's a headache when you go into another DAW and then you got to rename everything, but it, it names everything. All right, and of course, you know, uh, if you want to do all of your exporting, whether it's MIDI or audio, all those things are up here. And uh, yeah, just kind of tweak around with it. But uh, that's basically a quick hack for you guys to get NPC Essentials inside of Reason. You get eight tracks again, and you can... Uh, that you have, whether it be Kong, drum designer joints that come with Reason, or even uh, Redrum, or one of the synthesizers uh, that comes with it. Um,
a nice little pad. Mm, Thor looks very interesting. A lot of bells and whistles here. All right, so um, you guys get the gist. This has been another Akai MPK Mini tutorial with Bella. Um, dope beat I made, of course. I always make dope beats. They're not all hits, but they're all dope. And uh, I'll see y'all on the next one. Again, make sure you uh, follow me on Instagram at Brella, Twitter at Brella Music. I'm on all the social media stuff, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all that crap. All right. So, um, yeah, that's the business. Catch y'all on the flip side. Yeah. <laughs> That just came to like an abrupt close. I didn't crack any jokes at all. And I know how much y'all hate my jokes. So uh, I'm going to say one before I go. Uh, what did the wildebeest say to his child when he sent him off to school? Bison. Bye, son. <laughs>